We are live! So excited! Hello, hello everyone! We're going to teach you some quick, easy wrap appetizers. So comment below that you are here. Yes, yes, three appetizers in 15 minutes. Hopefully we can do it. Hopefully we can do it. Okay, okay, I see it, I see it. We're live. I see it. Yay! Okay, okay, so as you guys are joining us, comment live if you're watching this live, comment replay if you're watching this in replay, and we're gonna get started in literally like one minute. This will be a good time for you to share. We can share, hit the share button and share to your pages and groups. Yep, to your groups. Anywhere you want to share. Anyone that you know that loves to cook, share it with everyone. Share, share, share. So let's tell them what we're doing. Okay. So here we go. So welcome everyone to our first live stream Zoom. We were kind of missing a little bit of the old school paper chop cooking parties. We were like, you know what? Remember all those recipes we used to do at cooking shows? Three appetizers in 15 minutes. Let's go, let's go, let's go and teach you guys some super easy holiday appetizers. So in the next 15 minutes, you can, some of you guys bought your ingredients and are going to do this with us. So we're going to be very, very fast, but you can always finish it when we're done. Drop your questions below and we will answer them after this video as well. So my name is Claudia Bazar. I'm a National Executive Director here in upstate New York. And with me tonight, we have... Donna Landy, National Executive Director from Williamsburg, Virginia. And I'm Lori Bedwell, and I live in Huntsville, Alabama. And I'm also a National Executive Director. And we're all on the same team. Yay! So we are super excited to teach you. We got three things going and Donna Landy's going to kick us off right now. Okay, so who likes cheese? Who likes brie? Oops, I forgot the brie. <laughs> there we go. So if you like brie, or even if you don't, honestly, everyone that even doesn't even like brie loves this recipe. It's called pepper pecan brie. And so here's what I did. You can use a stone, you can use a rock rock, you can use your cast iron, you can use a baking sheet, whatever you've got. I just took and cut up some French loaf into some nice little slices and basted them with a little of our garlic canola oil, yum. You can use regular oil too, but the garlic oil just gives it a yum. And now we're just gonna go ahead and make our little Great. We'll bake it just for about eight minutes in the oven. It's incredible. So jalapeno pepper. It's not hot though. You think it might be hot? It's not. We're going to put this right in our manual food processor. We'll leave this as a garnish. And don't forget to take out the seeds and that white stuff. because That's what's really hot. Look at how cool this manual food processor chops that right up. And I'm going to throw in some pecans about we have the pecans and the peppers all chopped up. Look at that. And now finally, don't forget now, what kind of jam do you like? This calls for apricot jam. I always leave it in my fridge because you never know when you need a really just fun little appetizer and apricot jam works. Oh my goodness, it's in so many. That is our filling. Here we go. And now for the simple pot, you just take your brie. And I actually like to leave it in the refrigerator for this pot. I should have taken the paper off you guys, but here we go. You get to see how to do it. So when you take off the paper, you will still see a white rind on here. You want to leave that on because that's what's going to hold your brie in place, right? And take, how many of you love these nylon type of knives? Oh my goodness, take, this one's a bread knife too. And watch how it just cuts this right in half. And all we're gonna do is face up and we'll put half of this on and then top it with, I'll just mix it up really quick. 
to put half of it on. Now, how many of you would prefer maybe an apple cranberry? Mmm, right? That would be really good on here with the brie. We have all kinds of fun recipes for you. So if you love a quick and easy recipe that will really feed an army, and you can go to one of the Costco's or Sam's Club, and you can get the big braids, right, for very, very inexpensive and feed a big crowd of folks. Of course, this, this season, we're not doing a big crowds, so this would be perfect for my family of three right now. So guys, this is going in the oven, 425, about eight to 10 minutes, it's gonna come out. These will be crusty, you'll see them. So who's next? Lori Bedwell, what you cooking for us? I am next. I am doing a two minute decadent dip. And this is one of my favorites from Korea. It's super easy and quick and takes two minutes. So you take your cream cheese and apparently it's harder to open than I thought. And you just get whatever kind of cream cheese that you want. You pop it in a microwave safe bowl. You add, so my toppings of choice are um, Reese's. So it's gonna be a peanut butter and chocolate. So I have in here half chocolate chips and half peanut butter chips. You're supposed to do uh, peanut butter and chocolate chips, but I couldn't find them at the store. So I just did half and half of another kind. I put that in here. Whoop. All right. And then you take our uh, measuring spoon here and do two tablespoons of powdered sugar. And I'm gonna give you a tip about powdered sugar here in just a second. Pop it in the microwave, so hopefully this isn't too loud. And we put it in there for two minutes, 30 seconds at a time. So a pro tip to make powdered sugar, you can use a blender. Like if you have a lot, you can use a blender and put sugar in it and it will turn into powdered sugar. Or you can actually use a coffee grinder too. So if you don't happen to have a blender or your blender's not powerful enough, you can use a coffee grinder if you have one and put it in there and it'll make powdered sugar for you. So if you don't have any, like I didn't, I had to make some. All right, so I'm gonna stir this. Nothing really going on right now. Oh, yep, there we go. Cream cheese is melting. Let's see if I can come closer. All right. I'm probably going to make a mess everywhere, but that's okay. This is going to be good, and my family is going to love it. I used to make this all the time in Korea. It's so good. And then I would, um, you can figure out whatever dippers you want. My favorite is um, pretzels. So I bought some gluten-free pretzels to use it with. All right, we'll pop it in here for another 30 seconds. All right, so now I'm gonna take um, my toppers, just Reese's peanut butter cups, regular peanut butter cups, and we're gonna take our food chopper, and chop them up. One of the things that I love about our food chopper is you can put it in the bottom, put whatever you're chopping in the bottom part and put this over the top. and bam, all chopped up, and I didn't make a mess. I don't know why, that is one of my favorite things to do, is just to do it right in the lid. You don't have to, but if you want to try to not make a mess while you're doing it, then that is an option for you. All right, so we're getting this mixed up nice and good. See how good that's looking? It's all swirled around there. I have to pay attention, watch what I'm actually doing. All right, and then probably, Actually, it's probably gonna be good. Just stir it up. Yeah, that feels plenty warm. All right, so we're gonna take half of the um, peanut butter cups. We're gonna stir in half of it. So give it some more little peanut butter chocolatey taste. Like these are so good. So these are gonna be a little bit chunky in here. And then we'll take the other two, chop them up. make them as fine as you want to and then put that on top and a little bit in the bottom I think I 
hit it a little bit too hard. But this, let's see, this is what it looks like. So you've got this dip. It's beautiful. It's super easy. And you can do that anytime. You've got somebody coming over or you know what? You've got a sweet tooth. This is the dip for you. You will not regret it. And I'm going to go let my husband have some. Okay. <laughs> on to me, on to the final recipe. I've done this at my cooking shows for the last 10 years. And this is the first year I don't have Christmas party cooking shows, but it's all good. So all you have to do is take two cans of crescent roll dough and slice them up. Doesn't just make sure they're all kind of the same size. And then you line them up in the shape of a Christmas tree and you roll them out with your little roller. And then it looks like this. And you can actually top it with whatever you want, but we are going to decorate this as a fun veggie pizza. So all you need is one block of cream cheese. It's already been softened. And then you add just a little bit of mayonnaise just to kind of make it a little easier to spread around. This would actually be a great time to add some pea protein since there's no protein in here. This would be a good time. I just didn't think about that up until now. And then we're going to add, oh my God, how many of you guys have this? Our dill seasoning. Whoops. This is like, I think it's one of the most popular recipes. And I will to add recipes. What is it called? A spice. I will tell you, I actually not a big fan of like fresh dill, but I love this dill seasoning. We're using our classic batter ball, right? That's like a favorite of everybody. And we're going to spread this right here. Oh, wait, we can need some garlic. Hello. How many of you guys have a garlic press, right? You don't need to pee your garlic. Comes with the little Barbie brush at the end and bam, bam, bam. You've got some garlic. And that is going to add a little bit of zing to this mixture. And by the way, as you're watching this live, go ahead and smash that share button because I bet you there is lots and lots of friends that would love some easy appetizers for the holidays. So smash and tell us that you shared it. Okay, so here we go. All you do is just dump this on here and you can be very meticulous with this or you can just go with the flow, all right? So well, here we go and make sure that your crescent rolls are nice and cooled off. Okay. Okay. So if you were invited to watch this live, but one of our fabulous consultants, go ahead and tag them below. So they know that you are, oops, there goes my head. They know that you are watching live. So just kind of spread this out. This is one of my favorite little scrapers, this little baby one, right? I feel like we all have big scrapers, but it's hard to find little ones. And I could do this a lot prettier but I'm trying to not keep you guys online because, hey, you choose, chose to watch us tonight instead of maybe watching your TV show. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. And tell us below where you guys are watching from. So here we go, spready, spready, spread. Now, if you wanna be really smart, you could cut this beforehand and then spread the cream cheese over it so it stays pretty and it's almost like a pull apart, but we're not doing that today. Okay, so that's that. And now we're going to decorate our tree. All you need is a little bit of broccoli, some fresh broccoli, and we're going to choppy choppy with our food chopper. How many of you guys have this food chopper, huh? Let's see how many choppers we can get. Chop, chop. Comment chopper below. And you want to chop it really fine. So it's like nice and pretty like a tree. Chop, chop, chop. This will work great for your nuts during the holiday season, all the chopping you're doing for all your baking. And then here you go. You can involve your kids with this, right? There you go. Now, little disclaimer, the trunk part, the bottom part is supposed to be mushrooms. And I know I bought mushrooms. I know I brought them in the house, but they're gone. <laughs> Has anybody else done this before? I cannot find this thinking mushroom spot. So the bottom piece needs to be mushroom spot. You know what? We're just going to not have mushrooms today because we're pampered and not perfect. So then you take some sliced peppers and all you're going to do is cut them in half. And that is going to be your garland. Okay. Pretty brilliant. Right. Um, and you can have some fun with this. You can use red, but since we're using tomatoes for ornaments, I decided to go yellow and guess what? I cut out a little star with some cheese. It's not the prettiest star, but you know, if you have a cookie cutter, go ahead and use that. And then the last thing we're going to add is some tomatoes because that is going to be our garland. How cute is that? You can make this 
the day before Christmas so you can prep it and keep it in your fridge as a fun appetizer. I love any appetizers I can prep ahead of time because you know, we all go crazy the day of. So um, actually I probably don't eat that many, but here we go. We're gonna use our closing cut. If you've never seen this guy in action, you need this for your chicken breast. And here we go. And this is our veggie tree pizza. So while we have you guys, as always, there is, um, uh, Donna's about to show, look at that finish brie, right? But there's three ways you can get your products, okay? Number one, contact your consultant. Everything comes in in time before the holiday season right now. So you can always shop. We have some special stocking stuffer bundles available right now and a free gift when you spend $80 or more and free shipping when you spend $150 or more, right? Oh, isn't this pretty? And then the second way you can get our products is where a lot of us are not doing traditional cooking shows right now, but we're loving our virtual holiday parties. We're sharing more appetizers. We're sharing more recipes and holiday tips and tricks. And you just invite your friends over virtually that you would maybe normally have over for a holiday party. And you learn some tricks and you get free and discounted stuff. And then the third way is the best way the best deal in the catalog is just join us, become a holiday consultant, join now, get your Christmas presents at a discount and let's kick off the new year together. So here you go. How cute is that? Now imagine some chopped up mushrooms because we don't have those, but how adorable is that? All right, Donna, handing it off to you to say goodbye. Guys, look at this, it's done already. So how many times have you heard people show up at your door and voila, um, look at the bread is all toasted, nice, nice. We're just gonna take a nice piece of cheese, put it on there. Oh, it's hot and gooey and yummy. You are gonna love this. So like Claudia said, there's three ways you can get our products or see more great recipes um, by hosting a party. You can of course just kind of shop online on your consultant's page, or maybe you'd like to come earn some money with us. All right. Lori? Uh-oh. Can't hear you. Oops. I was muted. <laughs> all right, what did you, what? Just tell him goodbye. Happy all holidays. Right. Okay, all right, goodbye. Thank you for joining us. I hope you had a good time. If you have any questions about anything that you saw tonight, make sure to comment below, contact your consultant, and you guys have an awesome night. Bye. Donna, make sure you end the live. <laughs>